Hello everyone. In this video, I have got a coding challenge for you. What you should do is you should ask the user to enter any number between 0 and 100. If he enters a number between 0 to 20, including 0 and 20, then you should print A. But the entire number is between 21 to 40, you should print B. 41 to 60 C, 61 to 80 D, 81 to 100 E. Those are the alphabets you are printing depending on the range of numbers he's entering. But suppose if he enters less than 0 or greater than 100, it's an invalid entry. It should print invalid entry. Okay, now pause the video and try to complete this program on your own using ELSIF clause. Okay, I'll give the solution to this video. First, I will declare a variable called n. And I will ask the user to enter the value of n. Enter a number between 0 and 100. And I will write scanner percentage D and n. Okay, now I will write the if condition. If the number First, I will write for 0 to 20. If the number is greater than or equal to 0 and the number is lesser than or equal to 20, what you should print? Print F A. Now, again, I will use else if to check for 21 to 40. If the number is greater than or equal to 21 and number is lesser than or equal to 40 print f d okay now i will copy paste this control c and control v so 61 to sorry 41 to 60 if it is 41 to 60 it should print what c Okay, again, else if, if it is 61 to 80, you should print D. Now, else if, if it is 81 to 100, you should print E. If it's an invalid entry, which means if it is not related to any of these values, then I will write else and I will write printf invalid entry. Okay. Now we have completed the program. Let us run this. Now if you run this, it is asking me to enter a number between 0 and 100, but I want the control in the next line. So I will write slash n. Okay, enter a number between 0 and 100. I will write uh, 25 and it is printing B. And if I enter a number as 96, it is printing E. Our program is working. And suppose if I enter greater than 100, 120 if I enter, then it is coming as invalid entry. Okay, so the program is working fine. Okay, with this, I'll end this video. Thank you all.